So what's the worst thing that can happen to you at Christmas time? Your car doesn't start. After a week of not being used, the battery is just discharging to a point and the cold is discharging the battery to a point where um, it doesn't start the engine anymore. Here's one of those really annoying problems that you have during the winter. This is a 2018 VW T6 transporter. And in the winter time, for whatever reason, we seem to suffer with it not starting. Wait for those little glow plugs to warm up there. Make sure it's in neutral. Put my, put my foot on the clutch, turn it over, and this is what happens. Only just started. Um, so yeah, you can sort of tell that the battery voltage is a little bit low. Dog is insisting that I play. This is Jack, by the way. Jack, come and say hi. Uh, Jack has just sort of insisted that I play ball with him for a few minutes uh, because... <laughs> so, <laughs> having opened the bonnet on the car or the hood, uh, we found half a Christmas tree in here so I thought I'd better clean some of that crap out first Aww. anyway the important bit is this bit right here oh more Christmas tree nice um, so this is the battery and uh, for, for whatever reason the battery's just getting a bit flat these days in the winter what I'm gonna do is connect up a solar panel yes we're going to solar charge the battery and we're going to maintain the battery with a solar panel. Now, in order to charge the battery in the van, which is an AGM battery, an absorbent glass mat battery, we're going to need a charge controller, which has very kindly been sent to me by a Chinese company. Yeah, let's order some parts and get this wired up. We need some ring eyelets that we can bolt onto the top of the battery terminals here and here, the positive and negative, uh, and then we're going to have to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of wiring the other thing I thought it would be good to do is actually have a look at the battery voltage <laughs> this is going to be difficult with one hand on the camera and uh, too many leads <laughs> I need a film crew so the battery voltage is 11.98 so I'm not sure if you can see in there but I've put the current clamp meter I've zeroed the current clamp meter and put it on here and it's, the, 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 the car system is drawing about 100 milliamps um, which is sort of acceptable really but uh, but obviously after a week of not being used, the battery is just discharging to a point and the cold is discharging the battery to a point where um, it doesn't start the engine anymore. For the short term, I've put one of these battery chargers on it, which I've got to be honest, I absolutely hate. Uh, long cable going all the way up here to the battery. Right, bit of bumbling buffoonery required here. Actually smaller than I thought, that looks like an M6. I thought that was gonna be an M8. Right then, with this kit, everything comes fitted with these, both ends of the controller itself. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of these terminal crimps on here. Here it is then, and it's connected to the positive terminal, and it's also connected here as you can see to the negative terminal of the battery so uh so we've got our we've got our, our our charge connector now sitting nicely on top of the battery where it's not going to touch anything shouldn't cause any problems okay before we get too much further let's just check that the charge controller does what it says on the tin so we'll go ahead and plug that into the unit into the battery and then you connect the solar panel afterwards so let's go ahead and plug this in and see if it works making sure that red goes with red obviously so yeah that, uh, that looks like it's the correct way around good news oh happy days we're getting some readings and we can see that the battery is currently 12.1 to 12.1 volts and there are zero amps going into the battery it believes it's a gel cell it's actually an agm battery so um oh 19 degrees centigrade and 60 hicks 60 hicks 66 degrees fahrenheit uh e zero no errors at the moment so um right okay let's uh do we need to press button and hold yeah there we go to change to um agm and actually what is quite nice about this 
is it'll also cope with uh, lithium as well. So gel cells, AGM and lithium. So yeah, happy days. All right, let's uh, let's keep going. Let's let's plug in the solar panel. The solar panel is over there. Right, let's um, let's get some cable and wire that in. We've got two different coloured cables here. Uh, one is like a steel cable. These are it's actually speaker cable rather than um, rather than proper electrical cable. But there we go. You need to be an octopus to be able to do this. There we go. Gotcha. Ah, a nice squeeze, and that's all solid. Good news. Right, same thing with this one here. All right, there we go, that's got it. And excuse the squeaky toy noises, that'll be Jack. He's just trying to help me do this job or not. Uh, uh, could have picked a warmer day for this as well. It's um, pretty chilly outside today. If we now check this end here, we hopefully will see on the meter, 21 volts, excellent, and it's the correct polarity. So red is positive, 21 volts. Right, let's plug this, let's plug this into the van. Yeah, happy days. So we can see now things are starting to charge up and we can see the current. Uh, there is actually some current going in here. So um, I don't know if you can see that very clearly, uh, but yeah, 12.2 volts and 0.3 of an amp. So just a gentle trickle charge going in there at the moment which is fantastic and the battery according to this is about 50 percent you can see 75 and 100 percent are flashing there so um so yeah this battery definitely uh takes a hit during the winter um clearly i've got a lot more work to do to uh make this uh a, a more permanent fixture of the van but ultimately if you include the jack boy there solar panel <laughs> on a table with loads of crap on it and um and hopefully a van battery that won't die every winter now let's give it a try foot on the clutch let the glow plugs warm up and oh immediate and perfect oh happy days ladies and gentlemen jack is a rescue dog he is maybe 10 years old and he's been he's had a troubled life as jack but he's been with us for about some um, just six weeks now and he's really working out well for us we're loving him very much so in fact um he's turned our lives around and we've turned his life around as well come here come on you want to play squeaky ball <laughs> folks with Jack playing squeaky ball it's going to be very difficult for me to finish this video in fact making videos in general has been a challenge with Jack around so just to note then uh, yeah it's a massive solar panel it's a what, 150 or 120 watt um, 21 volt solar panel which is way too big excuse, excuse the squeaky ball um, but ultimately the reason why I did that is because you don't get a lot of solar energy when it's cold and grey and miserable and wet, which it generally is in England this time of year. So that was that's obviously going to be really useful. That's going to just bolster the amount of power that's going into the battery. And the charge controller actually is doing really well. I'm quite impressed with it. And certainly now I've switched it into AGM mode. So the other problem is I, I only drive that van for about, um, I don't know, an hour or two to a week which really isn't very much and again quite possibly the reason why the battery's dying so quickly yeah anyway so take care folks cheers beers don't forget give us a good old thumbs up uh subscribe if you haven't already and a big fat hairy merry christmas